Golfers, they make putting way too complicated. So I said, enough. And I created the simplest putting method for the amateur golfer. Let's talk about how simple it is and let me go ahead and show it to you. Now, the question becomes, a lot of golfers wonder, should I swing the putter straight back or straight through? Should my putter swing on an arc? Should I rotate the face open? Should I close the face? All types of different things and that's where the confusion starts. Now, the beauty of the system that I created right here, where we aim it, we lock it, we load it and we go, is that we take the best of both worlds. We're gonna create a putting motion, and I'm gonna show you putting motion where the putter actually slightly arcs on the backstroke with a face slightly closed, and then it's gonna go down the line. So it's a combination of an arc and a down the line. Now the reason it's so good, and the reason it's so simple, is, is because once we're set up, it requires no face rotation, no hand-eye coordination, no hours and hours of practice. It's literally the simplest system ever. So let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna do, the first process is what we call aim. We're going to aim the putter face. Now, I've got the G-Track. One of the things I actually love about the G-Track is it's literally like auto aims. When I just set it on the ground, I'm not even touching it hardly right now, and it literally aims itself. So all putters, almost all putters have some form of a line on them. The G-Track's got a white line and then two red lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and the first thing I'm gonna do is just literally aim the putter face at the target line or where I want the golf ball to start. And this putt's got some pretty big swing from right to left. So I've got the putter aimed two, three feet to the right of the cup. Step number one, aim in the system. Step number two is what we call lock, meaning I'm gonna get set in here and I'm gonna lock the putter shaft in line with my forearm. Okay, when I lock these two angles, that takes a ton of the face rotation out of it and it helps me swing the putter on a good arc. Okay, so that's step number two in the system. So I've got the aim, I've got the lock, now let's talk about the load. This is the most important part. The load is to move it forward and literally load it into my lead arm. Now, when the putter shaft is into my lead arm and it's loaded, that completely eliminates any face rotation at all. You can see when I just swing it back, the face does not rotate at all. Let me go ahead and hit one putt here, and then we're gonna complete the cycle in the simplest and easiest putting system ever created for the amateur golfer. So here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and aim it, all right? I'm gonna lock it in line. I'm gonna load it. Let me go ahead and putt it. Okay, pretty good. It got a little, didn't have quite the speed I wanted to, but it started online. Now, the fourth step is what we call the go. All right, and this is the beauty. This ties everything together. Now, when we use the word go, what we're gonna have happen is the shoulders are literally just going to go ahead and rotate. The lead shoulder is gonna go, meaning it's just gonna turn back and it's gonna turn through. All right, so let's go ahead and tie it together. I've got the aim. All right, I've got the lock. Lock it in line. I've got the load. Now the lead shoulder is going to go, meaning the lead shoulder is going to just rock back and through. Oh, look at that. How simple and easy that is. You know, because putting doesn't need to be complicated. We don't need to arc. We don't need to rotate the face. What we need is a system that's simple and easy to do. This right here. Aim it, lock it, load it, and go can make putting simple for you.